morning, good morning. It is Saturday. Yes, I'm up early because I have the gardeners coming out to like do an overhaul in my backyard and cut down a few trees in the front and bushes that I don't want there anymore. That's the only thing I really have planned today. I kind of want to go to Hobby Lobby, but maybe I shouldn't. So I don't know. I don't have anything planned. I'll probably just be here today reading, you know, but I did get dressed because I have people coming over to have to interact with, you know, the gardener and pay him and stuff like that. So yeah, that's the only thing so far. And that's it. Today is Wednesday and on Saturday I should have pulled out the camera after or during let me just tell you what happened Gardner was cutting the backyard and tidying up the front well in my front yard I also had him like completely cut down some bushes a few trees that I didn't want there anymore um, few of them were dead. I wish I could have vlogged it, but it's in front of my house. There's this one tree. It was, it's, it's completely dead. And I don't know how it was still growing leaves from the bottom and sticks. And it was just kind of looking very wild. And when I say kind of, no, it was looking wild. And, oh, I need to tell you guys, I'm on my way to Bible study. I had to leave a little bit earlier to get gas in the car and the girls weren't ready so they'll drive on their own anyway I did take a picture of the tree and if I'm able to like block out my house and the address and other stuff like that and only show you guys the tree then I'll have it up here somewhere um, but if not then just imagine what I'm talking about so it's this tree and it's not a very thick tree but it still had leaves growing and whatever so in our neighborhood there's like wild chickens you probably already know where I'm going with this there's wild chickens in the neighborhood and I will hear them probably on a daily basis and I'm thinking okay it's you know got out somebody's yard or whatever and there's chickens roaming the neighborhood yeah after the last clip you guys seen on Saturday he rings the doorbell and he said I'm gonna need for you to move your chickens I said wait what now he said yeah the chickens are in the grass and the female chicken she's becoming very mean and she's pecking away at them don't want her don't want them to get to the eggs and I told him, I said, I don't have any chickens. I don't know what you're going to do with them, but I don't have any chickens. Y'all, those wild chickens that were roaming the neighborhood, apparently we were roommates, housemates, landmates, whatever mates. We, they were living on my land. Yeah. It was so funny. I mean, just how the whole thing came about. I really wish I could have vlogged it. So what he did was he got a box and he put some, like some of the leaves on top. He put the eggs in there in hopes that the chicken would <laughs> get in the box with her babies. I don't know, but she went down the street squawking and hollering and whatever. And she would come back looking and just making a fuss. And I felt bad, but I'm like, I'm sorry. I, I can't leave that here just for you. So we had one neighbor that took the eggs and another neighbor that tried to catch the chicken. That was a sight to see. I, my goodness, I wish I could have vlogged that. It was just, it was funny. It was really funny. So yeah, y'all, I had chickens living in my front lawn didn't even know it I thought they were roaming the neighborhood you know the way it all happened I just laughed I couldn't do anything but laugh I mean what can you do 
what can you do? And my front lawn, I'm not gonna lie, it was a mess. Not as bad as the backyard, and I know you guys never see my lawn when it's a mess, because it's a mess, but y'all, there's chickens. And then the next day on Sunday when I left for church, I seen her, she was sitting in front of Cheyenne's car, just looking at the house. So my front lawn looks a whole lot more manicured now. I still have a few things I wanna do to it. I don't even know why I'm telling you guys this because you guys will never see it, you know, because it's the front of my lawn and for safety reasons. And I'm putting this out there on the internet and all that. So yeah, but so as I backed up out of the garage, I had seen her and then she went to the other tree like to sit underneath it and I'm like oh no we're not starting this again no 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 I found out if you spray like vinegar around there they don't like the strong smell so that's what I did and I haven't seen chickens since Sunday so y'all ain't that something that's insane that's crazy yeah the chicken lady house that's what Tari called me so yeah, and I realized I also didn't tell you guys about my job last video. So remember how maybe two videos ago they told us to pack up our desk. Okay, so we were all excited and happy. We're fully remote, yay, woo! And we only have to go into the office as we see fit to print stuff or whatever, right? Well, that day we found out, oh, the day to print are gonna be Wednesdays and it's mandatory you come in on the first Wednesday, but all the other Wednesdays after that is at your discretion. And I'm thinking, okay, remember I told you guys there's always something with my job. They'll tell you one thing one day and tell you another thing the next day. So, kind of made no sense to me because I'm like, we only went there for maybe like three hours. It's a waste of gas and a waste of time because that day I didn't even have anything to print, but whatever. I would go in and then we were there last week and then we had like this little meeting and then we found out that every Wednesday for the next month is mandatory that we have to start there in the office and then leave to go home in two three hours or whatever that's a waste of gas it makes no sense so then we're not fully remote so yeah that's the latest on that y'all and I still really can't complain, but when you say one thing, I mean, stick to your word. This this is, stick to your word. So, yeah, that's that, y'all. So I did go into the office today till about 10.30, no, 10 o'clock. And then I went home and worked the rest of the day from home. So I'm just on break. I'm gonna get back to work in a little bit. I think I told you guys this before, different conferences for our church that we go to and one that's called General Conference. Right now, I think it's in Indiana and it's usually in those states over there. I do remember telling you guys this. So anyway, it's going on this week, but they're live streaming all of the services. So we watched last night. Last night was the first night that they had the service and we'll watch it again tonight. But I think they're three hours ahead. So it starts about 3.30 our time. Yeah, and 6.30 their time. But anyway, we were watching a service last night and it was awesome. So next year, because we've always wanted to go to one of the general conferences. Um, I guess we just never made it a priority because we could have gone, but we just never made it a priority, like I said. Anyway, next year it's going to be in Long Beach. We're so excited, we're going. I can't wait until after this conference, then sometime soon they should open up registration for next year. So registration's free. I'm loving that part. Free's my favorite, like you say, Edna, if you're seeing this, and then um, the only thing we have to pay for is like gas in the car to go there and our hotel, food, shopping, all that good stuff. But that part's free. So, yeah, we'll be doing that next year. Um, so watching the services online gets me excited for the next one and that we're going to be going to. I'm so excited. It's all the churches from all over the United States. Um, we do have some Canadian churches that comes 
that will come down and join us also but yeah i'm excited you guys but other than that there's nothing going on y'all absolutely not that i'm So I caved. I said I wasn't going to get another book today. Ended up getting this book, Needful Things, by Stephen King. And I also got a bookmark. Where is it? Oh, I put it in the book that I'm actually reading now. Um, this one, The Fourth Hunger Games, which I showed you guys this already. Um, try to show you guys the bookmark. One second. Don't want to lose my page. So the bookmark that I got just says enjoy the next chapter, focus, come on, enjoy the next chapter, it just has the arrows on the back, and what I was using was Savannah's old um, Golfland Sunsplash, or Golfland um, Reloadable card, so I can put that to the side now and use an actual bookmark. So I don't know if you guys are Hunger Games fans, uh, but this movie that's going to come out in November, I cannot wait because this book right here, oh my goodness, if you watch the trailer for this movie, it's amazing and I cannot wait, but I'm not that far into it, but it's already a mess and as far as Hunger Games level goes, it's it's just crazy so yeah you guys gotta get it if you are into reading these type of books I am finished with this book. It was so good. If you guys are Hunger Games fans 
and you read the book, definitely read the book because the books always go into more detail. It's a prequel. It's about President Snow and how he came to be. And if you've seen The Hunger Games, you know that President Snow was evil. So it's no surprise to me that, of course, in the beginning, they had you like him. Spoiler alert. And then you've seen where the evil started to creep in. So, yeah, I'm done. That was a, a, a big, pretty thick book, but I enjoyed it. And I'm going to put it with my other Hunger Games with the trilogy, which is now four books. So, okay, there we go. And when I display my books, the ones that are my faves, I usually display them in reading order. So the Hunger Games, the original, the second book, the third book, and then the fourth book, which is actually the prequel to all this. So, yeah. Good morning. It is Monday. I am on my first break at work. And... That's about it for now. I will be going to the gym after work today. Savannah is actually off today, so she's gonna go to the gym with me. Usually because of her schedule now, work and school, she doesn't, we don't get to go to the gym at the same time anymore, but we're gonna go today because she is off today. Nothing else is going on, y'all. I know this video has been all over the place. A little bit here, a little bit there, but ever since my kids got older, and I know it's not all about my kids, you know, because I have my own life also, and trust me, I do things, but when I'm here in the house, there's nothing to vlog. I don't think you guys want to hear me ramble on about nonsense, which I have done before. Let's not lie. So, yeah, I'm rambling now. I love fall, you guys. Fall is my favorite time of year. And right now it's like in the mornings, if you go out, you need a sweater. But then later on in the afternoon, you don't need it. So that's the type of weather we're having right now. Um, I'm so glad it's not them triple digits. I can keep my front door open because you guys know I have the security gate. Or if you didn't know, now you know. But I never showed the front of my house, so there. Anyway, so I can keep my front door open and let all the fresh air come in all day long. And yeah, what is your favorite time of year? Yeah, mine is fall. Hello, it is Wednesday and I am about to go to Bible study in about 45 minutes. I know Savannah is going to Christian college. She also is taking classes at Sac State. Anyway, she is singing tonight. Well, she's in a college choir, which should not surprise you guys because she was in choir in high school. So yeah, she's singing tonight. And if um, I'm able to get some footage, I will try to do that. But yeah, the choir is singing tonight in Bible study. I'm excited, excited to hear her. Well, not just her, but the whole choir. So yeah, it's gonna be good. So with my job, you guys, remember I told you things change from one day to the next. So anyway, to make a long story short, we're not leaving the building. Apparently the building was sold, but the new managers, I guess, lowered the rent and told the people that owns my company, we take up 60% of the office space there, so he'd rather us stay and lower the rent. So we're not leaving. Well, so what happens to our work from home schedule? I'm glad you asked. Well, for now, they're gonna keep what we have now as far as we go in on Wednesday mornings to print. They say we're just gonna see how long we're able to do that. But if we fall behind on our numbers or whatever, we're going to be required to go into the office until our numbers go back up or as a punishment or something like that. Anyway, and there are already two people, not on my team, but there are two people who have to go in every day from Monday through Friday. And I'm like, I get what you're saying, but how come they just can't go back to the hybrid schedule two days a week in the office and then the rest at home? I don't know. I'm telling you guys, you can't believe anything they tell you because it'll change the next day 
or then the next day they'll say I never said that I said this so yeah that's the update you guys right now I am working from home every day except Wednesday mornings we go in for like three and a half hours which it's kind of silly to me and that's it then I come home and work the rest of the day yeah <laughs> Thursday after work and um, nothing much is going on I should have went out and ran some errands got lazy and I'm just gonna have to do it tomorrow after work but we will be watching Honey Mansion because it's on Disney Plus and yes I know a few vlogs back we went to the drive-in to see it but y'all here's the thing when I was there I realized why I stopped going to the drive-in I used to go a lot as a kid, well, young adult, teenager, whatever, and I liked it then, but now it's hot. Everyone around you has, I mean, of course it's like a family thing, so people are out in their lawn chairs and whatnot. Okay, no big deal, but I don't know, I just, I'm over it. I'm done with the drive-in. I don't think I'll be going back. Yeah, and plus, we barely seen the movie. Everything was dark. And then right next to it was the Barbie movie. And you guys know how, you know, everything is all bright and pink and whatever. So that kind of messed it up the way it was. And I don't know, I just got bored because I couldn't see the movie because it was dark. And I fell asleep, Savannah fell asleep and Shine went on her phone because we couldn't see it. So we basically paid to sit in the car and for me to fall asleep. And I guess we're gonna watch it together tonight. So yeah. That's it, that's going on in my life right now, you guys. Um, I have a trip coming up in a few weeks. We are going to the Mark Crowder concert. And I know, yes, we went to his concert last year, I believe, or maybe earlier this year, I don't remember. But we're going to it again because I absolutely love his music. And I'm not sure if he has any new music out. And he's a Christian artist, by the way, you guys. It is Friday. came back from the hair shop I needed another bonnet because the one that I have now there's no elasticity to it and the only thing that's keeping it on my head is the mask the headgear that I wear at night so yeah it's just about time and it's old and I don't like it anymore it's brown and yeah so I just got a black one have it in the bag back there and I got some more hair I'm always the queen of getting here you know how we do anyway I am on my way to Hobby Lobby I'm going to a bigger one and I don't have anything in particular that I want to buy I just want to look at their fall decoration I did go to Dollar Tree I think yesterday I waited too late because all of the cute stuff was gone I probably should go to another one just to see if they have anything but I don't know But yeah, I am about to do that and see what I can find as far as fall decorations. I have not decorated for fall yet, so we'll see. And then, let me grab something for dinner. I don't want to cook, but at the same time, I don't want to spend money on fast food. I won't do that. I am going to a bigger Hobby Lobby, which probably shouldn't but hey more selection right so we ended up not watching Hunted Mansion last night because Cheyenne had to do her hair so we're gonna wait till this weekend when we all are free and it's not like it's going anywhere I really don't have a whole lot to do I mean what I'm doing is not even major or anything like that I just wanted to get out of the house because the last time I was out of the house was Wednesday today's Friday and let me just get 
get some vitamin D. So I'm like, let me just go see what I can find at Hobby Lobby. And I might go to Home Goods. I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, and then I don't want to go to. I really don't feel like going to Winco today. I don't. There is a Walmart Super Center where I'm going, so I may go in there, but I don't even know what I would get. I don't even know what I, I want to eat. When I say me, I mean like mainly me and Cheyenne because Savannah, you know, she's vegan, so she eats differently than we do. Not that I don't buy her food, it's just with her food, you have to really think about how you're going to prepare it and what's in it and stuff like that, so. Alright, I'll see you guys when I get to Hobby Lobby. Nothing yet. I don't see anything that screams by me. Cute stuff though. I didn't find anything. Well, actually, I take that back. I got paint brushes for. I'm still painting the dressers in my room. And I got them for like the little intricate detail that I'm trying to do on there. So I just ended up getting that. They had some really cute fall stuff, but nothing that said, Michelle, buy me. Yeah. See, the thing is, I do things on Michelle time. And when everyone has their fall stuff ready and the good stuff out, I should get it then. But a lot of times, I don't want to get it then. And then you snooze, you lose. I mean, they had some cute stuff, but nothing for me so yeah you guys um, I really don't feel like doing a whole lot right now I'm not really tired I just don't want to do anything I don't really have a purpose to be out today we could just eat leftovers there's food I just wanted something different but just eat what we have yeah all right do I want to go to Home Goods? I'm going home, y'all. Let's go home. Let's go home. much later it's five o'clock and after church which church was amazing today um, it was amazing the music is amazing the word was amazing church is always good so yeah um, after church we went to Winco and y'all it was so crowded in there today I don't know if it's because it's the beginning of the month or if it's because it's football Sunday I don't know I'm thinking I'm like is there a holiday coming up because it was literally that crowded in there and people were being so annoying stopping in front of you pushing the cart in front I mean it was just I just we just heard and got our things and left out so when we got home oh yeah you guys this is my new bonnet that I got from the hair shop I want to get another one um, yeah it's the elastic on here. It's a little bit too snug and um, yeah. Anyway, when we got home, I took a nap and I've only been up maybe like 15 minutes because I was freezing. This is October. Actually, it's October 8th today and our weather here lately has been really bipolar. It was getting cool and I was able to keep my front door open and let the cool air in and then later on you know maybe I would close it because it get a little bit too too warm and then all of a sudden bam in the 90s again so it was super hot for like the last week and my air is on and I woke up because I woke up freezing I had to go adjust the temperature on the thermostat because it was just so cold in here and yes you hear my fan that's just how we do anyway so yeah but it's supposed to be in the 70s 
this week so hopefully it'll start cooling down a little bit but yeah california weather still 90 degrees in october so yeah um so for dinner i am making beef short ribs in the slow cooker so i have that going it smells so good in here you guys dinner is going to be good as soon as we got home before i even put my groceries away i hurry up and wash the meat seasoned it and got all my ingredients in there and put them in the slow cooker so it can start things like that i like to start them in the morning that way by now it would be, it would be done but I'm the type, and I know you're going to say, well, that's what a slow cooker is for. If I'm not home, I don't want it on. And I know sometimes a lot of people will start it before work or whatever, put it on a low setting, and then in eight hours, their food's done when they get home or whatever from work. I don't know. I just don't trust that. Never have. I think I left it on when I went to the store before, or if I did, like a half a day something like that but even then my mind I'm thinking I'm like oh my god it's on what if what if this what if that I don't know tonight Tyreek will be here visiting for the next three days not Taylor because they have like a different work schedule so and I know you guys know I don't say too much about his personal life because of the situation before um but yeah oh and we love Taylor just so you guys know that but her days off are different than his days off. So that's the reason why they weren't able to come here together. And so it's, it's gonna be Tariq for the next three days. And yeah. So here are the ribs. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, it smells so good. It's been cooking since about two. Just grab the fork to see. I like it when it's tender and falling off the bone and it's not quite there yet so yeah it smells so good though you guys but with this I'm going to I have the rice cooked already but I do have um, mashed potatoes just like this and asparagus that I'll make later it's still early so oh excuse me it's still early so I have time dinner is ready these things are falling off the bone good they taste so good mm -hmm. 